All right, so this one is deep read only. We're gonna implement a generic called deep read only, which makes every parameter of an object and its sub objects recursively read only. So you might you know, be familiar with this because we did it just a second ago in a previous example, but uh, the previous example had just the top level being read only. This is gonna go all the way down. All right, so taking the challenge, let's grab, uh, you know what? Let's take a look at this just real quick. So there's only one test case, and this test case has a bunch of stuff. There's A wow. is a function that returns 22, B is a string, C is an object with more stuff in it. There's Booleans, there's true, there's literals, lots of stuff in here. So expected is just a copy of that. And you can see that the read only keyword is placed before that in all cases. So yeah, that's that's basically what we're gonna how we're gonna handle that. So let me find uh I think we just had read only um a second ago. But any thoughts on this, Rob? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna have to create a recursive type here, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see here. Looking at read only, um, we can do that, or what we can do is t string. We're gonna return a string. Um, let's mm -hmm. let's lines just like here. go down the line like that. I'll format for e, you. Yeah, well. let's get the let's get all the primitives out of the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. I'll format as you go. Don't number, worry. Number. Number. Uh huh. T extends. Symbol. Symbol. Mm hmm. T extends. Big ints. Oh, big int. Wow. Against. Forgot about big N. So we got here T extends. We need functions? Yeah, functions. Uh, let's just do, just do any mm -hmm. um, unknown. Cool. Eventually, we're going to return T, right? Like Eventually, re we'll return. Uh, we'll return something. We're going to go through all the lists. That's cool. Yeah, let's do we're it. Gonna, we're going to exhaust them all. Uh, T expense. What else? What else is there? What other primitives? We got string, boolean, number, symbol, big ints. We got function. Uh, we need an array. Um, extends. So what if I told you that you can do this without going through this list? I would not believe you. Uh, really? This is, this is the only possible way to <laughs> solve this challenge. All right. All right. You want me to step in or do you want to, do you want to suffer more? It'd be a long, what happens when they add new things? Then we have to like, uh, you know, oh, clearly they just never, you just never upgrade your, just never upgrade TypeScript. Color. All right, I'm gonna show Try you. This. I'm gonna erase all this and show you a and show you a trick. Well, it's like kind of a trick. Um, key of T extends never. What are your thoughts on this? Ooh, so if an object isn't enumerable, or if the T is not enumerable, then that means it's a primitive, and we can return T directly. Yeah. And then otherwise, yep, I got you. Deep read only T. Cool. So, so that doesn't pass, but only for only for a, a sort of a silly reason. Um, we never actually did any read only stuff anywhere. Ah, so, so, so you're close. I think we need to do like we need to map the we need to do a mapping statement here. Gotcha. Um, you know. Read only, like, what would it be? Yeah, yeah, exactly. P and key of T, right? And then TP. Boom. That works. Isn't that something? So I'm, I'm glad you a, did. That's though. a bazinga moment right there. <laughs> bazinga. Um, I'm glad you did what you did, though, because that was one of the examples that I was going to show, and now I don't, I don't have to show it, of uh, how people have solved this online. I looked around it's online. very clever. 
Isn't it clever? Like you're you're basically yeah. saying, yeah, like you said, um, is it innumerable? Then just skip it if it's not, you know? Um, it's pretty cool. There's another one here. Uh, I'll show another example. We'll just, uh, I can say deep read only one. Okay, cool. Um, why are these spacing weird? Okay, anywho. So this one, deep read only one, also works. And just looking through it, it's saying read only, and then it's handling it at the value level. So it's saying if key of T, if, if this, so T with a P is, is shorthand for the value. So it's saying if the key of that value extends never, which if it's a primitive, there will be no key of, and it will extend never. If you, so if you do like um, key of one, like that'll be, uh, is this gonna, is this gonna scream at me? Do, oh, X, yeah, sorry, X2. So the type of this is uh, key of T, uh, key of T, oh, key of this, never, um, true, false. That's interesting, because it says it's the, uh, right. When you do just key of the number, it actually enumerates the prototype values. Mm -hmm. You get rid of this stuff. Yep. So then the next one I want to show is this one. Which is a similar approach, but it's kind of interesting. It's uh, this. It's using this to exclude functions, so extends uh -huh. object and. So this this gets. I, I prepared another little uh, little cheat sheet. Um, I showed this to Rob a couple days ago, and he's like, "I, I can't believe you didn't know this." <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got a lot to learn. Uh, oh, it doesn't fit on the screen. Okay, womp womp. But I'll put this on online so everyone will be able to see it. But basically, what it's showing here is a table of values and whether they're assignable to certain other constructs in TypeScript. So this we have this empty braces thing, which I kind of don't want to call empty object because it means a certain kind of thing in TypeScript. So string is, is assignable to empty object. 42, 42n, that's a big int, symbol, true. This is what Rob was going through in his mind. He was going through a list. Actually, you almost did them in this order, which is kind of interesting. Then you uh, you got to the end Double, of this list. Rank, yeah. Right. So we see that we have these ones. Uh, let me let me select them like this. We have these ones that are assignable only to uh, these two curly braces. Then we get these three here that are assignable to object, and then only uh, these two are, which are kind of like what we want to select for record string unknown, are assignable to like an object. And that's that's kind of what this person is doing here. They're anding together uh, this business. In order to take out functions, uh, they're they're trying to remove functions from the list. And it's taking um, out the call property or the call prototype. Right, isn't that tricky? Anyway, that's deep read only. So it is it is a bit of a brain twister. To but you know, like a lot of these, there's like a trick that you need to know, and this is a good trick to have in your TypeScript toolbox. This key of T extends never business. Cool. Any other thoughts on this one? These are uh, these are too clever. <laughs> they are a little too clever. I don't know. Uh, this one, this one is a lot, uh, a lot more obvious what it's doing. So I like that one. Yeah, I like this one too. I mean, it's tough because once you see these tricks, sometimes they can be like, "Oh, I have a trick. I can use the trick." But maybe if you're writing code for your colleagues, you know, um, pick this one, you know, and not the not the one with the trick because it's not immediately obvious. I guess what this one is doing. So cool.